Good morning everyone and I am back out camping once again. I'm proper stoked to be out today. So I'm just about to join Ben and Elliot and Richard and Liam, Primal Nomad. He's coming down in a little bit. They've been out for two days already. This is day three for them. So I'm just about to join them. We're out for two nights, maybe three, I'm not sure. But either way, I'm buzzing to be here. I'm gonna be camping in the hammock today as well. It's been a while, so I'm looking forward to that. And I'm gonna do everybody a whole chicken with stuffing and loads of veg in my new Dutch oven tonight, which I'm really stoked for. So it should be a great camping trip. I'll catch up with you in a sec. Boop. <laughs> Boys in the woods, how are we? Fantastic, brother. Richie, Ken, how are you, bro? Still in bed as always. Yeah, mate. All right, I've gone with another random setup today. I've gone with a little bit of a diamond to it. Put a ridge line and toggles up again. And then on this side, we've put another ridge up. And with these two extra bits on the tarp, we've pulled this side out. Just like last week, I've put the uh, male and female toggles together and closed off that end. The hammock's a lot lower, so I'm quite close to the floor. Nice little setup. Thanks for your help, broski. Yeah, right, yeah you're gonna go for a tarp tent, aren't you? Yeah, and unfortunately, the. The stretcher bed has been brilliant, right? But it was a prototype and I've slept really comfortably, but both nights the uh, fabric that I'm using is, is torn through. First uh, morning, stitched it up again, it was good again last night, but I'm not up for repairing it again. So uh, it'll get retired until I get a better, better material to make the stretcher from. Richie, should I say Ken, Ken. he's out in his new multi-cam 4x4. That's a sick set of big floor space. Did you catch any of that heat from the fire as well? Nah, not much, mate. No. Too far away from it, but still be sweet. <laughs> Big tripod on the go. Got the Dutchie to go on tonight. Oh yeah, because these boys have been out for a couple of days. They've been making these little candle holders. Some cool little cutouts there. All different. Camp's looking wicked. Ken's got the Harry bow. Yeah, mate. Got to get them. <laughs> double park, mate. Double park. Double park with me. <laughs> The tree wizard's got a busy week. He's been out here for two nights already. He's doing another two with me. Well, me and the boys. And then what, you're going to see Palace and then you've got a liquid D&B night. Yeah, on Saturday, yeah. Palace on Friday. Yeah, man. Should busy week, mate. Yeah, That's awesome, week. man. Yeah, couldn't ask for better. It's like a little holiday. <laughs> yeah, right. I shouldn't have wasted that money on that pipe, man. No yeah. way. It was for you, man. It was for you, man. Come here! <laughs> I got something for you in the car. Oh, We're going. <laughs> Dude! Oh, that's sick. Thanks, brother. It's not bellows, it's Ken. Ken. Ken bellows. bellows Ken. Ken Bellows, everybody. <laughs> you could bring them back to there. I love the ridge line with the second piece coming up and a prosec to join it. We came up with using the frame of Ben's stretcher bed to make a little temporary sawhorse. It's actually worked out really well. And then we're using this tree at the back just for extra support. You're making the pole for your tent, right? Yeah, pole for my tent, just cleaning up the top. It's already been used before, uh, previous camp here. Just gonna clean her up and uh, put some little dowels in here to hang some stuff on and be cool. Here he is, the main man. <laughs> the camera's straight there, how are you doing? Dude. Are you good? 
Good to see you, man. Come here, brother. So good to see you. Thanks for having me down, man. Mate, thanks for making the journey, man. Such an awesome we still have, We still haven't been over to you, mate. No, but it's got to happen. It's got to be done, It's going to happen. It will happen. Very soon. I but hope. here we are. We've had this camp planned since pretty much a week after the community yeah, camp. Yes. When we got Richard and... Elliot and Ben on, all on board to come and meet. So, yeah, I've been really looking forward to this one, man. I'm so stoked. It's good to be with you guys again. I'm looking forward to just two good nights. Oh, it's let's go. Awesome. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> stoked to be with all the lads. Everyone's setup's looking really cool. The camp's looking awesome, I think. The lads had this camp proper squared away before I got here. It was nice to just come to the camp and the fire was already on. Everything was set up. Everything looked awesome. It's looking really cool. And I can't wait to cook for everyone tonight. What do you think of your gift, bro? I really love it, man. It's awesome. Did you redo? That's so what cool. Oh, did you redo? What a present from an Aussie, mate. It's got to be, isn't it? Yeah. You what? I did you redo really like it. <laughs> so I've just got my little flex tail pump slash light slash USB charger with me. Makes a great bellows. The fan can just get your fire going straight away in the morning. Dead easy. Got my wool blanket there just to pull over me tonight. Should I need it? I've got my Thermarest Z light fold out mat underneath in the pocket got my military Gore-Tex the Nature Hike CW300 and then the Thermarest compressible pillow and that's the full setup and I'll be wearing my wrap jacket and my softy trousers probably and then I've got some little wrap gloves that I like to chuck on as well and then Catherine might be coming tonight if she does we'll pitch her here just out on a little firewood hunt Looking for some dead standards. Much better firewood than a tree that's fallen over and started rotting on the floor. It's a nice wood. It's a mix of pine and silver birch. It's still in man-made rows and the whole forest was planted for materials. So it does get farmed, they're always out chopping. But it means we've got a massive playground. It's like 83,000 and a half hectares, this forest. It's just a playground for me. I absolutely love it. I'm so lucky to live in the area that I do because Having this only 15, 20 minutes from where I live is just, it's a real treat. I love the mossy floor here as well. Loads of bracken, dead fern. So it's the first use of my new Dutch oven. It's by Petromax, it's the FT 4.5. I seasoned it a little bit last night in the oven, but I'm gonna stick it on the fire now for a little bit. That's what I'm gonna be cooking, the whole chicken and veg in tonight. When there's a big group of us like this, and you wanna make a big stew or something, it's perfect. Or if you're camping somewhere that's not too far from the car. But it's quite a long walk in today, so it was heavy. Liam's got the DD super light tarp and the front line hammock. And I like the way he's got the bungee around the spreader bars through all three. And he's got the tree huggers with the ladder system on from a different hammock. So the Dutch oven's just gone on. I'm gonna leave that until it gets dark now. That's gonna be on there a good three or four hours at least. So I'm just chilling out now. I'm gonna go collect some more firewood. I'm also in the process of trialing a few suppliers for some East Anglian Bushcraft logo tees. Quite a few of you have been asking me about them recently. So I thought I'd better start sampling some companies, see which ones come out good. Probably 20 or 30 t-shirts at a time, so. But this is just like a charcoal gray with the logo. Tree lizard. A tree lizard. <laughs> that 
of wood looks really nice though, man. Yeah, man. Nice bit of uh, birch. The axe, the axe is a razor too. Yeah. Been working She's, on uh, it. Yeah, it's fairly sharp. You've been working hard, Richie lad. Look at that, mate. That's coming too, isn't it? Yeah. I think we've got them all now. Looking good, man. Got enough of the slats. It's yeah, be boy. Good. Tell everyone your YouTube channel name, dude. Uh, Freedom N Adventure. The letter N. Freedom N Adventure. Go check him out. Everyone's favourite Aussie. Cheers. F and A, brother. F and A. Can Oath. Can Oath. <laughs> I'm no storyteller anymore. Do you dry roast the peanuts on the Oh, now we're talking. First use of Elliot's spatula. That's a treat. <laughs> Things are looking up Millhouse. <laughs> Catherine's arrived, so I've just set her set up up with Richard and Liam. She's got a little lean to. She's on the nature hike blow up bed. And I use the little flex tail gear pump to pump that up quickly. Got the basher as a ground sheet. The Corinthia Defense 4. Hi babe. Hi babe. You alright? So yeah, now the camp is complete. Yeah. Richie bringing in the magic flames. Nice one, dude. No worries, brother. There we go then. Yeah, buddy, that looks insane. Night, no, Craigie. Night, no, mate. Morning, everyone. You join me as I've only been awake for about five minutes. What a great evening that was last night. I didn't really pick the camera up too much just because I was having such a good time with all the guys over there. It's kind of hard to find that balance between filming and having fun, especially with all the music on and all the conversations going on. It's kind of hard to capture that. It's really nice to be back out with everyone again. It's really nice to be back out with Catherine again as well. About to get the fire on, everyone else is pretty much still asleep, so we're going to get that squared away and then get ourselves a coffee on. What's up, dude? No, I'm very my friend! <laughs> How was your kit, man? So good, bro. Yeah? The tree lizard. Hey, how we doing? All good, bro? You good. Where were you? You doing crazy. <laughs> filming you, filming me, oh, filming good. you, boy. Yeah. Morning. Filmception. Yeah. Morning. <laughs> Swing! <laughs> <laughs> 
bits of these, like pine nuts and punky pine, you can rip them off and normally there's fat wood there. You can see like that. And you can just dry them out by the fire and then light these up later and they'll give a really good glow. Just another little primitive candle. <laughs> Great tip from Primal Nomad. <laughs> yes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That is literally that liquid fat wood. Oh, the faith, we've lost the faith. For us to put all our drinks and tea Yee! lights and stuff on tonight. Yeah, buddy. Richard's yeah. creation. My, my thought to do a bar, Ben's creation. Richard's on the design team. <laughs> Ben's the PM. Yeah. And I'm going to decide who's fired. <laughs> <laughs> So I just want to thank everybody for all your comments last week and all your entries to the knife giveaway. There was loads of good comments on there, loads of good stories. I wish I could give you all a knife to be honest. But there was a few stories that really stood out to me. Um, one in particular, a guy left a comment, I'm not going to say his name because it's quite personal stuff, but he left a comment saying that he's a full-time carer for his mum and in his spare time he still gets out to the woods, he hasn't got too much money to buy kit and stuff like that. So I found him on Instagram and I sent him a little message and then I found out himself and his mother used to be domestically abused by his dad. It put things into perspective for me and it just really hit a nerve so... That's why the knife is going to this guy. And thank you all for your entries. Again, I really wish I could give you all a knife. That's so cool, boys. Cheers, brother. Anyone for a drink? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'd love Only a drink. beer here. I'd We've got stone and wood. Uh, how, hey, much for, uh, how much for the faith and the guava? <laughs> for you, my friend. Free. Oh. <laughs> the lad's just like been making there. some pine pitch glue. Yeah, buddy. Some pine <laughs> resin melted down. Bit of charcoal. Bit of charcoal in there. That's looking good, man. So Richie's brought a Swedish candle along. He's just revved that up. It's a nice little addition to the bar. Feel like you could be a million miles from anybody here, don't you? Oh, yeah. Could be. It's absolutely amazing. Chef Ken, what are you cooking for us tonight, man? Mate, we've got a big chilli. Beef chilli. Yeah. Onions, garlic, beans, carrots, uh, bacon, of course. Got to have that. A little uh, milk. Looks and lovely. Some special spices. Home mix you did, right? Yeah, it's called Rick's Seasoning. Rick's Seasoning, <laughs> go on. Lad. Buy now for $99.99. <laughs> What's cracking, Lima? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> That's yeah. Liam's real nickname, Lima. And I guessed it, I just randomly said Lima, and you were like, yeah, what? That's it, my nickname. That's so funny, Tom's gonna be watching this just thinking, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> shout out, Very Lima. Cool. Give Tom a shout out then, Lima. Oh yeah, well Tom, back garden bushcraft, he's really awesome, we do loads of camps together, he's just, yeah, really good bushcraft buddy, just like Ben is to you. 
So, yes, yeah, boys, awesome. that's mega. Shout out to him. Go check him out. Hey, Go yeah, look dude. at his channel. Oh, living the dream. About to have a big bowl of chili. Oh, mate, some people only put beef and beans. Some people don't even put beans in a real chili. But this one got the corn, the carrots, onions, garlic. What else? Sun dried tomatoes. It's got a lot, mate. Let's see. And your that. home spice mix. Oh, yeah, Rick's. BT Rick's. Bush Tucker Rick's. <laughs> oh, dude. Is it good? Oh, yeah. And then we can a bit of coleslaw. But this is the dream on top, fellas. A bit of parmesan. Dig in. Well done, mate. Top form. It'll be so yeah. good. It smells <laughs> incredible. I'll bring dude. you a plate. Good morning. Another great sleep last night in the hammock. It's been really mild on this trip. I haven't been cold at all. I'm with the fire going in the evenings. It's been so nice. I'm going to stay for a third night now. Richie's pulled through with the triple hazy. Cheers, brother. Yes, lad. Nightcap for tonight. Yeah, last on, the, night. on the final night. Yep. Is that your monster grill? Yeah. That's a beast, man. Yeah, straight off the barbecue. Straight off the barbie. Straight off the barbie, mate. Primal doob, lad, mate. You're going to tell everyone what that is, Liam? Oh, yes. It's Polish bacon. I think it's called boxek. Might be saying that completely wrong. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, cross between pork belly and bacon. And uh, it's amazing. I've just been kind of frying it up. I tried it on my last trip. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that, bro. It's amazing. I hope you enjoy. Do you want uh, barbecue sauce? Yeah. Or are we doing them bare? I've got breakfast sauce. Changing it up to a plough. Yeah, man. The tarp tent's wicked, and I'll definitely do it again, but this ground's too uneven. And where I happen to have set it up, there was I was on a hill, and it was uncomfortable. Got a peg there. We've got a peg up here. All the pegs. Yeah, man, that's wicked. Shelf. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> Kept, kept moving out of there, then I'd slide back down. <laughs> this is me. His hips <laughs> roll like a belly dancer, you know? <laughs> Just snuggling in, you know? Oh, do you want to lay on my head? Yeah, Just yeah. Lay on my arm? You're going to get pins and needles, <laughs> you know? But it's okay. Want to do a quick birthday shout out to Joe Trinder. Happy birthday for the 14th, mate. Your very nice wife messaged me on Instagram and asked if I'd give you a little birthday shout out. So happy birthday, dude. Hope you have a good one, mate. Cam looks awesome, doesn't it? These are the sort of camps I normally leave my camera at home for when I'm with four or five of my friends and we're just having a few beers and a laugh. These are the times I normally don't bring the camera because I like to not think about it and just have fun with everyone. But I thought it'd be really fun this time just to bring you guys along. That's why the video's been a little bit more about me just filming what's going on, rather than filming too much of myself. It's nice to film other people than you just seeing me all the time. So yeah, I'm just having a nice little walk through the woods, looking for some more dead standing for the fire tonight. We've got loads of good bits of beach now. Breakfast was lovely, thank you Liam, mate. That was some good Polish bacon, I rate that mate. I plan to come here on this trip and build walls around the fallen tree that Catherine's staying behind. I don't think I'm going to get that done, I've just been too busy chilling, too busy chatting with everyone. Not really motivated to build. And I think because I've been doing a lot of building up at the shelter recently, it's been nice to come on another camp and not have to worry about building. But I've got a cool one next week coming up, something slightly different. It has been done on YouTube before but I've wanted to do it since... I was growing up in this town, so it should be a good one next week. Make sure you tune into that. Second spatula creation, is it, dude? <laughs> I might do a fork. Right, Liam's off. I've got to go say goodbye. Absolutely, man. Bye, Le man. You caught me Harry Bear in hand, so you have to take one. <laughs> Legend. Pleasure as always, dude. It's been wicked. Such Top a cool man. camp. Thanks so much for having me, dude. You all know this guy, but if you don't already, go check him out. Primal Nomad. Thanks so much, man. Legend. Awesome, dude. I thought you might say that. Easy they're, Jaff, they're Jaff or Easy Peelers, these are my favourite. Mandarins, all of those. Thank you. Family of Do well, lad. Bit of homemade barbecue sauce. Oh, you want me to throw it on for oh, you? Oh, yeah, go on, lad.
Yeah? Yes. Yeah, look at this palace. Excuse my bag, I'll open up the mess. Slick Rick's big palace, mate. Just trying, bro. <laughs> the Roman general. <laughs> the Roman general? That's what you are, bro. King Richard on my throne. King Richard on his king's bed. Yeah. He's got slats now for the back. Was your pillow falling down last night, down the uh, back or something? I was sliding forward, yeah, no, right. and my feet were hitting this big thick timber. Oh, my okay. ankles, so okay. I didn't like it. So I, so I could pull my head right up to the top of the bed. Yeah. I put the uh, the headboard up there. Yeah, Adapt and overcome, yeah. killed it, man. Yeah, bro. Right. Right. When you want to sit up, you can just prop your pillow up there. Yeah, just, yeah, lean. But I don't know whether I can lean against it. We'll see. That's it's awesome. lashed together pretty good, but we'll see. He's a proper Aussie, the provider, <laughs> Chef Richie, got the chicken wings on. Yeah bro, gotta do it. Spicy you, wings, blue cheese. You camp in style my man. Yeah, you know how me and Benny will do a different one next week. Yeah we'll have a more subdued. little bit more yeah. minimalist. A bit more quiet. But we're still gonna eat good. Yeah, these beers. boys are going camping together next week when I'm going camping to my special one. The tree wizard yeah, whittling in his little so hobbit hut. We're gonna make a spinach and ricotta stuffed pasta pockets that we had, fresh pasta. Yes. Uh, that we had in the, at the shell we got in the last camp. With bacon. With bacon on the top, crispy bacon. Carbonara sauce this time as opposed to the cheese sauce. She's on. She's Benny, on, boy. Benny doing a big one. Oh yeah, this is a big one. Cheesy Wait, garlic bread. You mind if we top this up? Morning everyone, I slept in Catherine's pitch last night because she went home yesterday so I was lucky enough to stay on the blow up bed last night, so comfortable, not something I'd want to bring every time, I like to just sleep on the floor but it was a nice little touch having that mattress last night and I had a pillow from Richie, thank you boy that made the world a difference man, just had the wool, had the military blanket, the wool blanket down on there first and then the basher on the floor as a ground sheet, just gonna get some water on, have a little coffee we got pancakes and bacon for breakfast, let's go! Oh no. Bit chilly. <laughs> oh, it's good now. Always grilling, eh? Like a true Aussie man. We've been joined by another guest as well now. How's it going, Drabbers into the bush? All good, all good. Thanks for joining us. Yep, surprised uh meet up today yeah, announced. <laughs> with Fozzy the dog as well yeah little Fozzy making an, uh, an appearance Fozzy Fozzy lad there he is take centre screen boy Fozzy good boy hello mate hello mate you're a legend brother drive us into the bush this is little day set up he's been out at a local woods last night <laughs> you lick my ear, I'll lick yours. <laughs> what an awesome trip this has been. What was going to be a two-nighter has turned into a three-nighter. I've had such an epic time. We've eaten like kings once again, playing around with some setups, lots of bushcraft on this one. Leave no trees, mate. Leave no trees. Give me more of what you gave me earlier. Uh, I want more bacon. Dad, what's that bacon stuff? Can we go to the store and get more? <laughs> right, I'm off ski. It's time to say goodbye to the boys. See you, brother. Peace out, bro. See you, dude. It's been a pleasure, man. It's been awesome. It's been awesome. See you next time. Cheers, See baby. You, See you tomorrow, mate. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Cheers, Ricky lad. See you later. Thanks for coming, man. No. Check him out on Instagram. I'll leave it down below. Top lad. I'm going to finish today's video 
by reading out a poem by a really nice lad called Ben who's just managed to publish his first poetry book. Well done mate. The words speak volumes in this poem I think. Have a little listen. So the poem's called What is History? With so many lives lost from war, what is history if we do not learn from it? Now, why does the human race continue to suffer when we are capable of such kindness and capable of such compassion, humour, intellect and wit? And for all the bones of the people that have been killed and who lay buried in the earth with all the agony and the suffering, is not life more precious than all the land, the greed and the wealth? O oh, war and murder, such a seemingly unsending strife, what is the point of a continually tortured and a murdered life? Yes, do we really value life so little, for such has been the history of man, ever brutal and oppressive, and with such great hate, unleashed because of greed, and with wealth, profit and savagery going hand in hand. Now, dear humanity, I beg of thee, isn't it time for another plan? Oh, that's deep, man. That's a deep poem. I'm going to leave his link to his book down below. I've read through some of the poems, and his work's incredible. So thanks for that, mate. I'm back out on my own next week. Like I said earlier, I've got a little special one for you. So tune in for that. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to you all. You're all the best. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon.